across the void beyond the mind, the empty space that circles time. I see where others stumble blind to seek a truth they never find. Eternal wisdom is my guide. I am the doctor. Through cosmic waste, the TARDIS flies. Hello and welcome to another Doctor Who figure review and today I shall be looking at the City of Death set which I have promised you guys for about three, three or four months now so I thought I'll get it over and done with today so just move the camera a bit so I shall start off with the, um, the fourth Doctor but before I start um, I just like to make a pointer that the City of Death is my absolutely favourite Tom Baker story. Yeah, it's not Genesis or anything. It's this story. It's just phenomenal, in my opinion. Having a doctor going to a foreign country, I think, for the first time, and the next time was Amsterdam in the Ark of Infinity, and then Planet of Fire. Yeah. I think it's something like that. Yeah. So, as I was saying, let's go for the fourth doctor. Uh, this fourth doctor costume you can see in the doctor experience, which is now moving to Cardiff in about a week's time. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not doing the packaging because uh, it's sadly no longer here. Just to point it out. So, okay. This is a fourth Doctor from the Destiny set, at least I think it is. Anyway, I haven't got the Destiny set to compare, so... Yeah, I think they've used the coat from the Pyramid of Mars, Tom Baker, which is there. Which is awfully nice, I hope to review that um, soon. After I review the Cyberwave, what uh, main priority after this lot. Yeah, so I'll get back onto the fourth Doctor. So articulation is head, more side to side. Could do a 360, but I wouldn't recommend it. Arms go up, do a 360. Biceps do a 360. Bend at the elbow. Arms do a 360. Waist can turn, but it may be hindered by the scarf and the coat. Uh, legs are hindered by the coat. Bend at the knee, and of course, by articulation, what does a 360? Basically, this figure is a mishmash of the Destiny Tom Baker and the uh, Wave 1 Tom. It has the Wave 1 Tom legs and the Destiny of the half, but this one has a few tweaks, which I shall go on to now. So, the main reason why people got this set was uh, Scarlioni and Tom Baker's scarf, which is awfully nice, I must say. And then there's a hidden feature underneath this, which we all should know unless you haven't seen any City of Death story. Even though this figure is inaccurate, this is my favourite variant of Tom Baker and then it's close second by the Pyramids of Mars Tom Baker. So, the scarf is not your standard uh, Season 18 scarf, what everyone was expecting. The Season 18 Tom Baker scarf is a lot wider. Yeah, it's a lot wider than... Because this is now... Uh, I think it's a new sculpt, obviously. I think the side, it's now just got a loop instead of it just dragging. It's a lot more thinner and it's not just bulky. And stuff. Yeah, this scarf has uh, an incorrect pattern scheme, apparently. I'm not too fussed really about it. Because what they've done is they've just got that big blue stripe and just painted it across. Just uh, to make it cheap and easy, I suppose keep the cost down because you're getting some sort of a new figure which I shall move on to uh, later for this Tom Baker. Yeah, really nice this is. The scarf is. And then you've got the first Tom Baker scarf to have painted tassels. There we go, I'll just get it up for you. There we go, sorry for that annoy, that's my elbow escaping getting some wood. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. So I'll go into the detail now. Then I shall go on to the other hidden feature. So this Tom Baker head here uh, we've seen uh, from the Destiny and the 
Genesis, the Dalek, except Tom Baker. Tom Baker. But this Tom Baker has not it's got much as much no, not much great as the Destiny, so they've sort of made it better. Um, yeah, you've got the kills nicely spotted there. Yeah. There we go. It's not as much, I think. It's about the same as the Genesis, I think. And they've re-corrected the lip so he doesn't look like he's put some lipstick on. So yeah, there were a few quality control issues with this set, such as uh, um, the eyes and something was not coming with an accessory, such as the Sonic screwdriver, which uh, first set I picked up in Wolverhampton didn't have the Sonic, so I put that one back and I got this one because I it was quite good. The eyes were not like this, you get it? Uh, quite good. You can see Tom starting to raise by the and the um, lines by the nose. You've got these nice creases on the jacket and the two back pockets. And then you've got the two buttons and then you've got the line lining going up the jacket. Uh, and if I take the scarf off, um, we've all seen it now. Uh, the hidden feature is the paint and palette which is accurate to the story. Get there. It's really nice how they've done it. And then I love how they've done the shirt. How they made it look like it's tucked in. Like the illusion of it, but it's just plastic rounded off. You can get it really nicely. Yeah, I'm just try and get it. There, that's what I mean. Then you've got the buttons going down the jacket and then you've got a black collar. And then there's no indent on the head like unlike the regenerated fifth doctor and the season 18 Tom Baker. So the scarf doesn't cook as well, it just wobbles around basically. Yeah. Then you have your standard fourth doctor legs. What we've all grown to love really. Uh, this figure comes with a sonic screwdriver, which is I thought it was quite new. All we've done is made it a bit bigger and just painted it black and used a paler red, pinkish red. Yeah, so that's the Tom Baker figure. The only inaccuracy is the scarf and the lapels aren't popping up, but that would have cost a bit more. But hopefully, you'll see Tom with, it, uh, with his lapels popped up. Maybe. An invasion of time, Tom Baker. Don't know. So now we move on to Count Scarlioni or Scaroff, last of the Jaguar. Here he is with his Scaroff head or Jaguar, which is really nice. So I shall just run through the detail, and then I shall do uh, a few minor issues with this figure. You've got a lovely line spot. Just to give that uh, effect, and I like the glossiness of it to give it like, like all like gooey and slimy. Really nice. Then you've got these two flaps there. What sort of remind me of Tom Baker's scarf on like the uh, wave one, but a bit smaller. Yeah, uh, you've got the lines on there and stuff. And you've got the eye. No quality control issues. Nice. And you've got the neckerchief and the pin and the black shirt. Buttons on the waistcoat. See there? There you go. And then you've got the button on the jacket. The ring on the hand and the back of it. The braces and the handkerchief. Mine hasn't been painted very well, but you can see that one there yeah, got one too close. Now it. And you've got the buttons on the very light and not very good. Yeah. See the button there. And you have some creases on the trousers. Yeah, all very good really. Then he comes with his accessory, which is his pistol. Which is just a bit of black glass that might get into a gun. Shape. I'm not saying it's not good though. Now with this figure. His head is removed so you can turn him into Count Scarlioni. And his head 
just plugged off like that. But his head is a bit small. That's the only issue, but I just balance it on top and it works. It's really nice how it goes up. Gives the effect like that. And then it's just you just plug um dueling double's head on. The person who played the girl off and it just clips on like so there we go. The face is very nice, it does look like it. There's only one issue on my one, which has got a little bit of white paint on that. It's not a mine issue in my opinion. Don't mind it being now. Yeah, brilliant head sculpt. It does make him look a bit older, but you can, you know, you can live with it maybe it's not like a mine issue. Now this figure or body uses the James Lesson figure from the front of the range. All they've done is just open the jacket up and added the waistcoat in. This waistcoat there. Yeah. And they've used this body again. Well, used this body, I say, uh, with the robot map. We used the handle scar. Yeah. And this comes with uh, another accessory, which is the Mona Lisa, which has a hidden feature, which is this is fake. I don't know if I can get it up, but. I don't have the sonic screwdriver on this one. They do say this is a fake. I can look at it and try and get it to say. Might get it up to it. I'm just trying to get it to say. Sorry about that. But it's just a piece of uh, that uh, paper. If, uh, Using the invisible link, what we saw in Sonic Screwdriver releases and the Doom Scan, uh, and it in Tom Baker's print, as he wrote it on, on six nine releases, and this is the and then the frame here will be uh, lined and stuff. Yeah, it's really nice. We didn't, uh, the back, on the back, you've got this nice wooden, well, illusion. Got company information. There. There. There we go. Really nice. This set is really nice to have. Uh, yeah. If it's worth, it is worth twenty-six pounds because it comes with accessories. I think that's why the sets are costing a bit more because of the amount of accessories we're getting now. So. Yeah, I think it's worth getting. It's 10 out of 10, despite of the inaccuracy of Tom Baker. Yeah, so thank you for watching this review, and my next review will be of the Invasion Cyberman, which is here, which I shall review tomorrow. So thank you for watching this review, and I hope to see you soon.